what's up everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here i'm paris and i make videos all about candle making and the starting and managing of my small candle business lady simone candle co it's a new year and i know many of you are gearing up to start your candle businesses and so today i wanted to talk about five ways to get your candle business in order for 2022 let's just get started Number one, begin tracking inventory properly. If you did not check out my video from last week, I highly suggest you check it out. It is me showing you how I close out my year, end of the year, business year, but I also highlight the best part of the video, which is showing how, not only how I track inventory, but how I am now transitioning to a new inventory system with Inventora. And so far, I am loving it. I will provide an updated video to kind of show you how I'm enjoying it, what my process is like, and all that good stuff. But to start the year off right in 2022, I encourage you to get your inventory in order and start tracking it properly. If you are serious about taking it from a hobby and actually owning your own candle business, starting your own candle business, start tracking inventory now. Determine what type of system you like, whether you like the spreadsheet route or you want to invest in an actual platform or system such as Inventora, get started as soon as, you're, as soon as you can. I cannot stress that enough. As I mentioned in last week's video, do not get caught up at the end of the year or months down the line where you have to take time to go back and retrack your inventory and kind of figure out how many candles you made and sold. So I suggest to begin tracking your inventory now. Start Number now. Number two is think about what productive tools and systems you need to have in place to help you not work as hard on in your business, but instead you can work on your business. So what I mean by productive tools is think of ways that can help free up your hands and free up some time so that you can you know, actually work on scaling and building your business. So here are five tools that actually make my life a lot easier as a small business owner. Number one is a social media scheduler. Get one, y'all. <laughs> social media is where it's at. Um, you know, your business needs it, right? It helps build exposure, it helps you market. And so one way to free up your hands and free up some time is getting a social media scheduler and what i told myself i am going to work on this year is being more present from a social media's perspective and one way i'm going to achieve that is batch scheduling content so i'm a brainstorm content which is actually what i'm doing now in january brainstorming content TikTok videos reels and just regular posts and things like that on my business, create the content, and then schedule it and post it out. So that way in February, my social media can pretty much be on autopilot. So that is one suggestion for you, for your business to kind of run on autopilot. Try to batch and schedule content as much as you can a month in advance and let it just run and do its thing. <laughs> Number two is Trello. I love using Trello. Um, if you haven't heard of it, look into it another alternative is is notion and i actually use both um, for different purposes but overall they work the same way it's mainly a project management tool well they both are and what i love to do is i love to map out my vision and overall goals and achievements i want to reach for that year and then I pretty much work backwards and make small attainable goals that I need to reach in order to attain that overall bigger goal for 2022. So for example, if there's a fall collection, a winter collection that I want to release this year, you know, what do I need to do to start preparing for those? If there's vendor shows that I want to um, go to this year, what do I need to do to get prepared for that? Right. If there's um, networking events or if I want to reach out to wholesale companies or try to get into stores or if I want to release some more scents in my collections or anything that has to do with expanding and scaling my business, I map it out in Trello um, and I pretty much work backwards in small pieces to try to achieve that goal. productive tool 
tools that I use is a business planner and a brain dump journal. So I have both actually on my nightstand right now. And I use my business planner to, of course, keep track of any appointments and meetings and things that I have, whether that be with wholesalers or clients or whomever, just anything business related. Of course, I keep track of that, but then um, I also schedule, well, that's also where I schedule out and brainstorm um, my content for that week or for that month. Um, so that goes for YouTube videos, and I'm going to start doing that for TikTok and um, Reels and just general post. And so on these different platforms, I write, you know, what I want to post for that, what is posting for that day. Um, after I do my brainstorm, I go ahead and put it in my business planner. So that way from my business planner, I can actually create the content and then from there, put it in the scheduler. Um, social media scheduler so it's a way for me to keep track of what I'm posting and any um, events or appointments that I may have from a business perspective I also have a brain dump journal and I have a brain dump journal because this mind is always on a thousand <laughs> and sometimes it's hard for me to sleep if you're like that gosh please give this video a thumbs up that you can totally relate to me um, because it's very hard for me to relax my mind at night. And so in order for me to do that, sometimes I just take up my brain dump journal and I just write things that pop up into my brain or anything that God may gives me, um, give me for my vision, um, for my business or anything that pops in my head idea wise or content wise that I do not want to lose because I'm going to sleep. So I suggest getting a business planner um, to help you keep track of your content, what you want to post for the month, and then transfer that to a social media scheduler. Um, or just get a business planner in general to just keep up with events and appointments or anything you may have from a business perspective. Number four, um, I use QuickBooks. Y'all, anything to help you automate um, your systems, especially the systems that are time consuming. So bookkeeping and inventory, if you can get that into an automated system, not saying there's anything wrong with spreadsheets or pen and paper, but anything that can take a lot of the work off of your hands this year, I suggest you do. And one way of doing that is QuickBooks. You could start with the cheap plan, um, especially because you're a small business owner, like do the self-employed plan or the starter plan. I think I actually have the starter plan. Um, and it's not expensive at all. And um, it's a great way to keep track of your books. Yes, I have a bookkeeper now, but before I had a bookkeeper, I definitely took care of my books myself. <laughs> um, and she just pretty much took over. Um, but yes, you need to keep track of your finances, your money going in and coming out. The last system that I use is Canva. I love Canva. I think everybody pretty much loves Canva. I use Canva to design all of my labels and all of my stationery for my packaging um, for orders that go out. So Number three, map out your vision for the year. But if you feel like mapping out for the year is a little overwhelming, at least start with the first two quarters. So try to map map out your year for the first six months of the year. Figure out where do you see your business? Where do you want your business to go? What do you wanna release? You know, um, how many followers do you wanna achieve? What is your marketing strategy? You know, how do you intend to get the word out about, about your business? How many vendor shows do you want to um, try to attend, right? What are some networking things that you want to try to achieve? Do you wanna to try to reach out to? influencers do you want to collaborate with anyone anything that you want for your business or you envision for your business or any goals that you want to achieve I suggest mapping it out and writing it down that way you can see it and as I mentioned before you can set small goals and work backwards to achieve those overall bigger goals that you want for the year number four Think about getting your business suite finalized. So what I mean by business suite is number one, think about getting a professional business email address. So instead of just parasimone at gmail.com, I actually have 
hi at ladysimonecandleco.com. So it gives yourself a professional look. Um, of course, it makes things look more appealing and more professional and legit from a customer's perspective or from a business perspective. If someone professional wants to contact you for an event or for a meeting or for a collaboration. Another part of that business suite is thinking about getting a business address. I have mine through UPS and I've had it for, um, it'll probably be a year this summer and I pay for the yearly plan. So I'll probably have to I need to pay and renew that coming up soon here in a few months, but I pay to have a mailbox at UPS. And so from a legal perspective, or if um, clients want to send me something or anything like that, I have a business address that I can give people um, and I'm not nervous about protecting my privacy and where we live um, because I can use my business address as the Lady Simone Candle Co. headquarters. <laughs> um, another thing to think about from a legal perspective is um, what type of legal entity do you want to form? If you want to form one, you can definitely stay as a sole proprietor, but I also recommend doing some research in your state to see if with staying a sole proprietor, do you have to file as a DBA, which is doing business as, um, or are you thinking about forming an LLC and what all does that involve from your state? And lastly, think about any licenses or permits that you need to register to sell products in your state. Um, so for example, Ohio, I had to actually register for a seller's permit, which gives me a seller's ID. Um, so that way I can charge sales taxes to my customers and then file them every single month. So I suggest looking into that um, specifically to your state and see what is required. And my last thing that I want to give you, number five, <laughs> to get your candle business in order for 2022 is hire a coach or a mentor. I have stressed this in several videos and a lot of people um, have the idea like, you know, kind of like, and honestly, I had that same idea. Like I didn't think about getting a business coach when I first started my business, but if I could do it all over again, I probably would have started out with a coach to hold my hand, at least for the first several months of my business or the first six months to a year of my business. There's a lot of things I wish I would have done differently. Um, do I regret my journey? Absolutely not. Um, but if I could rewind the time, I would have invested more in education than trying to invest in relief in trying to make 20 different cents to then put on my website just saying <laughs> um i think education is ongoing you can never stop learning um and specifically try to find someone that is knowledgeable in this industry so um i'll use myself for example i started with launching a course how to start a candle biz for beginners and integrated coaching and mentorship within that program because I saw the need for it. A lot of people want to just up and jump and start their candle business, and that's totally fine, teach his own, but there's a lot of things that go into running and operating a business um, from a legal perspective, from a financial perspective, from an operations perspective, when it comes to inventory, from taxes, sales taxes, um, any and everything, things begin to come up as a business owner. And sometimes it helps when you have someone that you can constantly call on or turn to for guidance that's been there and that has a little bit more experience. I am not ashamed to ask questions. I'm not ashamed to admit when I don't know anything. And I want to encourage you to not be ashamed to ask for help this year. Um, so I have services available. I do coach and mentor um, candle uh, makers uh, from a beginner to intermediate candle makers and those that want to start their business. And so I really highly encourage you this year to seek out um, some type of mentorship and coach, whether that be for me or someone else that you find um, that you want to work actually with. working with the client now. 
Um, she was actually a former student and she actually decided to that she wanted to continue to work with me but on a more individual level and so I have a 90-day accountability program where I've actually been working with her since November and um, February is actually when our time is up and she actually renewed her contract so I'll actually be working with her through May and um, she only did that because her business is about to launch. I literally have been by her side since November, helping her launch her business from start to finish. So she's actually about to launch. And then she wanted to renew her contract with me because she wanted me to be by her side for her first few months of business and in operation. So we're going to focus on properly managing inventory together. I'm going to help her understand how to properly process orders how to do simple maintenance for her website, how to do, you know, promotions and helping her with her social media and all of that stuff. So her and I have been two peas in a pod since November and it's been the best. And her and I actually had a good heart to heart conversation a few days ago during our private session where she pretty much just ex expressed how um, fortunate and blessed she is to have found me. Um, and how she's grateful that she took the time to invest in education, um, not only supporting my business, but she has learned so much by just getting that individualized attention. So she learned so much in my course, but she wanted to work with me one-on-one -on -one for me to help her implement everything that she learned. And so everybody learns differently. Everybody adapts and picks up things quick um, differently. And sometimes people just want you by their side. And that's the fulfilling part for me. And so um, her, she's getting ready to take off. And I cannot wait to see her progress and do her thing. So I want to encourage you to do the same thing. Sometimes investing in education first instead of trying to test and release 20 different scents um, to put on your website to start selling, sometimes it's best to take a step back, release when you're absolutely ready, make sure everything is good to go, but then also have somebody on your side to help you and mentor you to oversee your business operations. So there you have it. I hope this video was helpful. I thought this would be a great start to a new year to talk about things that you could do to get your business in order this year. I am determined more than ever, especially after baby girl drops, but January has been my focus month. I have been doing something for my business every single day that I challenged myself to do something for my business every single day in January um, with some downtime on the weekends, but it's mainly because baby girl's coming <laughs> February 9th. Well, February, expect it February 9th. But I want starting February, everything to be on autopilot and streamlined. I want all of my systems in place. And that is the best way to free your hands. So that way, while baby girl is napping, I can brainstorm and do content. While baby girl is uh, with my husband and he has her for a while, I can batch out content. Anything I can do while... Um, she's down or my husband has her or my mom and my dad may have her or if she's with her aunties um, I can work on things for my business and things can just run on autopilot and all I have to do is respond to the automations so that is my goal this year to set my business up in January to run much smoother for the rest of 2022 and all I have to do is execute so I'm encouraging you to do the same thing and I hope these tips were helpful if you are interested in inventory, I do have a link in my description box below. Check that out. Um, I am loving inventory so, inventory so far, and I plan on doing an updated video um, showing my current inventory process as well for 2022. Also, if you are interested in working with me and taking a part of any of my services, my link is below as well. It's under All Things Lady C. You can click that link below and it will take you to all of my links, including my website, for you to check out any services you may be interested in for 2022. Let's start this year off right. Let's get it. I am so excited. Thank you all for your love and support. I hope you all had an awesome holiday season. And until next time, bye.